Hey folks, welcome to the channel. Do you ever get that itch? That itch to get back on the trail? That itch to go on your next backpacking trip? Maybe it's been several months since the last time you've been out and you're just eager to get back out on the trail. Well, that's where I'm at right now. I have that itch to get out on my next backpacking trip. But it's early springtime here in Colorado and the conditions up in the mountains just aren't ideal for the type of backpacking experience that I want to have. There's still snow on the mountaintops and the passes or it's really slushy or muddy and that's just not what I want to experience. But fortunately, Colorado has some nearby states where there's excellent backpacking opportunities uh, that you can experience. You know, states like Wyoming, Utah, Arizona, and even New Mexico have some great places that you can go backpacking with much, with much milder climates. So I decided to plan a backpacking trip to Capitol Reef National Park. And this video is going to go through the type of gear that I'm going to pack for that upcoming trip. And I wanted to make this video for a couple reasons. One, I wanted to highlight some new gear that I'll be using this year on some future backpacking trips. And two, this is not my typical loadout for a backpacking trip. Um, I'm typically a hammock camper and that's not, uh, that's not as feasible in Capitol Reef. So I'm, I'm bringing in, um, packing in some different uh, gear items. So I thought I would show you uh, the different pieces of gear that I'm taking on this type of trip when I go uh, to Utah on my backpacking trips. But first, let's start with the new gear items. Uh, the first is my backpack. So this is the Gossamer Gear uh, Kumo 36. It's a 36 liter backpack. And this is the size I will generally take on a three day, two night trip. And this is replacing my, my Z-Pax uh, Nero. And I love this backpack. It's uh, extremely lightweight, um, really just a Dyneema sack uh, with a couple side pockets in the mesh. Um, but this has worked uh, great for me in the past. Uh, the reason I upgraded to the, uh, the Kumo is because I have the Gossamer Gear Gorilla 50 liter. And that's probably my favorite backpack that I have but I use that for longer trips where the weight I'm carrying is a little more um, so I wanted to see if this Kumo was as comfortable as my, my Gorilla um, it has you know the nice big mesh pocket on the back it's got two good side pockets um, but what it also has is the hip belt so this will be um, you know, I like having the hip belts, having access to stuff, and that it also has built-in mesh pockets on on the straps. Um, so with my Nero, I couldn't take the weight off my shoulders, uh, but this will help me allow to do that, and I like having access to the hip belt pockets. So this is um, one of the big changes that I'll be using. Uh, the second thing that I have is this little thermometer called the Go V. Right. So, what I have used in the past is just a little thermometer that I would hook to my bag. It records the, the current temperature as well as the high and low for that given day, which is great. You know, um, I've really enjoyed having this super lightweight. Uh, but I saw this online, this Go V option, and I like this because I think it's an upgrade in that it'll track temperature throughout the day. Uh, and how it works is it works via Bluetooth to your phone. There's an app that I have, and is when you sync your phone with this device, uh, it'll track the temperature um, for the entire day. So it's not just the high or the low, it's how the temperature is varying uh, throughout the day. So um, really not that much heavier and I thought uh, an upgrade um, with that type of uh, functionality that, that I'm using. Uh, the other one is <laughs> a carabiner. 
right? So I have a carabiner here. Um, typically, I'll just carry a, a weight-bearing carabiner. Um, I like to hook it onto my bag so I can hang it either from a branch or from a tree or from the, to the end of my hammock. Um, but this carabiner, this carabiner is special because it's multi-use. Um, it has a little screwdriver on the end. Um, it has a blade where you can cut some string or cordage. But the thing that I like most about this is that you can start a fire with it. Um, so most of my backpacking trips, I will carry a, a backup, um, some backup waterproof matches in case my, my lighter doesn't work and I need the ability to, to cook or to start a fire. So now instead of having to bring uh, backup waterproof matches, I can just use the, my carabiner now uh, in place of what I already have. Um, so that helps me kind of minimize what I need to take on my trip. Uh, the other new piece of gear is an umbrella. Um, this is the Gossamer Gear umbrella and it works with uh, straps uh, that you have here on on your strap and and it you know, protects you from the shade and the reason I got this is because I have a future um, backpacking trip uh, on the John Muir Trail this August and I hear there's a lot of sun exposure um, so I thought this may be a good idea to take with me well Capitol Reef also has a lot of sun exposure not a lot of trees with shade and I just wanted to see how well this works. Um, I've heard that if it's really windy, um, it doesn't work that great. Uh, it can turn inside out really easily. Um, so we'll see, you know, we'll see how easy it is to use, how easy it is to attach, um, and how well it works on the hike. So I thought I would test that out on this trip as well. The final piece of gear I have is the camera that I'm using. Um, it's the, the camera that I'm using right now to record this video is the DJI the DJI Action 4 camera. So for most of my trips in the past, I just simply used my iPhone. I have an iPhone 12 that records at 4K, which is great, um, but it had some issues that I think that the DJI Action 4 helps resolve. One is storage. So I kept on running out of storage on my phone. I was having to carry an extra piece of gear, an external drive, so I could constantly download videos and photos on it so my, my storage on my phone wouldn't run out. Um, with the Action 4, I've got a 512 gigabit little smart card that goes in there. I've got no issues with storage anymore. The other things that I, that I think the Action 4 helps me address is stabilization. So when I'm walking on the trail, you know, either doing the selfie shot or just kind of walking along uh, the trail itself, uh, there's better stabilization with the Action 4, as well as better performance in low light. You know, so if I'm early in the morning or later in the evening or, you know, in my hammock or whatever, uh, this camera will work better in um, low light situations. All right, so now let's just get into the heart of, of what I take on, on my trips. And let's start here with uh, the back mesh. Um, I'll bring some type of bandana or some type of, you know, cloth to help, you know, wipe off, clean off, whatever. Um, when I go on my backpacking trips, um, I bring a rain jacket. Always, 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 always bring a rain jacket. <laughs> Even when I'm in the desert, uh, this is the Frog Togs. And again, I love it. It not only is uh, a great rain jacket, it doesn't wet through, but it provides me another layer of, of warmth at night if I need it. So I really enjoy the Frog Togs jacket that I have. Something different that I'm bringing on this trip are neoprene socks. All right, I think I just got these off of Amazon. And the reason I'm bringing these is because uh, part of the trail that I'm doing uh, is walking through a creek for a few miles. And I'm going in April, 
where the temperature, the highs are probably mid 60s, the low or the low 40s. And I'm expecting that water to be cold. And if I'm walking in it for three miles, I'm gonna be in it for a while. So I wanted some neoprene socks to help keep my feet a little warmer while I'm hiking through that creek. Uh, so that's something new and different that I'm bringing on this trip. Uh, something else that I'm bringing on this trip is a tent, right? So um, this kind of goes together. These are tent poles. Um, I'll show you, it's, my, my tent is packed in my bag, but it's the Tiger Wall, the Big Agnes Tiger Wall 2 ultralight tent, and it's a semi-freestanding tent. Um, and I like that because in Capitol Reef, I'm anticipating that that I'm going to be uh, either camping on very sandy area where the stakes may be hard to go into the ground or on slick rock. So with the semi-free standing tent, I don't have to worry about having staking it down into the ground, at least not the tent part. Uh, maybe the rain fly, but um, so these are the poles to the tiger wall uh, tent. Um, this is just a Tyvex a ground sheet that I made um, for the tent that the poles will stick into it. Um, so I'm bringing that along to give a little protection to the bottom of my tiger wall. And there are stakes. So the rain fly that goes on top of the uh, tiger wall does require stakes to stake in the rain fly. I've got my ditty bag. So my ditty bag contains a lot of the small items that um, I need to take care of. So I've got just cordage, some patches, um, some little hardware in case something breaks that I need to repair. Uh, so this is really a little repair kit that I use. Um, I also have my uh, toiletries. So I've got a, a Z-Pax um, toothbrush, a travel size toothpaste, uh, I've got, I found this, I'm using this recently, called Naive, not, <laughs> Naive, Native uh, Deodorant, which is really small, packs down well. I know some people don't pack deodorant, but I like having it. Um, and then these are little, uh, I keep Advil, ibuprofen, you know, mess and things like that um, in there. So I keep toiletries in that. And this is kind of my my med kit. You know, I'll keep things like bug lotion. This is a Picardin that is great. Um, I also use anti-chafing cream. Um, I'll keep in there, and just various sizes of uh, bandages, small and large. Uh, so I keep that in there as well. Let's see, I also keep a fire starter in here. Uh, I know you, you're not allowed to build fires in the National Park, at least here in Capitol Reef, but I always like to have something in case of an emergency that I need to be able to light a fire, keep warm. Um, I always bring fire starter with me. And then the little mini BIC, like I talked about, that I carry with me. Um, that's great and small. And then this is my headlamp. So I use the Nightcore Atiki, and this is great, super lightweight, small. I just attach it to my helmet, my helmet, my hat, and then I use that for my headlamp when I am at camp. Finally, back here, I have my cozy with my cook pot. So I have a awesome little spoon foldable spoon i love this i love that it's foldable because it's easy to to pack away i got that at shields and it's fantastic i use the brs stove really lightweight less than an ounce um, that works perfect for me because i just boil water that's great um, my propane fuel small little can and then i have my little cook pot uh, which is like a 500 meter, 500 milliliter uh, cook pot. Again, I just use it to boil about a cup, cup and a half of water for the meals that I need. And put in my cozy. 
and that works for that. All right, um, another piece of gear I carry is my Garmin inReach. This is the Mini. Uh, this is great. This gives my wife peace of mind where I can text her throughout the day, use the GPS signal. Um, I have an app on my phone where I can easily send messages or receive them. So it gives my wife peace of mind and it gives me peace of mind knowing that if I get hurt out there and I'm in the middle of nowhere that I can have search and rescue find me easily uh, with this device. So I'll always carry my Garmin inReach with me. Let's see here, I have my, what I call my butt pad. So it's that one eight inch foam pad uh, that I can either double up and you know get a nice cushion or I can lay it out. Uh, I can lay it out flat, especially if I'm taking a break and I wanna just lay my back on it. Uh, this has worked great. I use this for my butt pad uh, now. Uh, let's see here on the sides. Right, these are my water filters. So I'll carry two. Um, water filters is another thing that I'll always carry a backup with. Um, I prefer the Catadine Be Free. So this is a one liter bag. Uh, I use this to just scoop and drink when I'm on the hike, when I'm, on, when I'm hiking. Um, and this works fantastic. I love that. Um, I'll also carry, uh, generally I'll carry this three liter uh, hydro pack, which also fits the Catadine Be Free filter. Um, so I'll keep them on both. And with this hike, I will have probably a 10 mile, 10 to 12 mile water uh, carry. So it'll be good to have, um, you know, use this to carry water with me on the trail as well. So that's what I do for my water filtering. Um, something different I'm taking is uh, water shoes. Like I, said, like I said, I do have a couple of water crossings. Um, right in the beginning of my trail as well as kind of a three mile hike through one of the creeks. And so I'll be using the, the water shoes. These are just from Walmart. Um, they got great grips on the bottom of them. And I use this with the neoprene socks to keep my feet warm and keep my other shoes dry. So that's really it for that. Um, so in my hip, pocket. I always keep here something I want to be able to access while I'm actually moving. Um, so that's things like yeah, sunscreen. I found this travel size Neutrogena 70 SPF. So that's awesome. I like having that. Uh, chapstick SPF 45 to protect the lips. I always want to have access to that. I always carry a little multi-tool. Um, you know, so it's got pliers, it has a knife, scissors, um, things like that, um, that I can have easy access to in this front pocket. And then finally, I have, uh, I just keep some wet wipes with me. Helps me uh, clean off before I get into uh, my hammock, or in this case, my tent. And finally, yeah, these are my called portal wipes. So this is my toilet paper. Um, it's compressed paper. You put a little water on it, which is nice when you need a little water on your toilet paper. <laughs> um, and I like it because I can put, you know, five different um, tablets in here, which will be plenty for me on a, on a three day backpacking trip and helps me to pack it away really light, really small, and I can pack it away easier than just rolling up toilet paper. Um, so the portal wipes are great. I love them. All right, so that's everything in my pockets, my hip belt, my sides, uh, my front. Um, all right, so let's get to the good stuff on the inside, all right? So I roll that back. First thing I have is my food bag, right? So Capitol Reef does not require a hard-sided bear canister. And I love my air sack. It's a little heavier than a, a food bag, but um, it carries the food that I need and will protect it from uh, wildlife. 
So this is uh, something I'll take with me on most of my trips is the, the Ursac. And then all the stuff I want to keep dry. So, so one thing you'll see here is normally I backpack with a Nylaflum uh, water liner, a pack liner inside my backpack to keep my things dry. Well, the videos I've been watching of this, this backpacking loop that I'm going to do, uh, part of that creek, I've seen people come up to their chest in the water. Um, so I wanted a little extra protection, so I have this waterproof uh, compression sack that I'll be keeping all of my dry items in um, in case I slip or fall into the water or, you know, if I'm trying to keep it above my head and, and it gets wet. Um, these are the items I want to absolutely make sure are dry. Um, so that's a little different because of this trip. Um, one of the things I have in here is my electronics bag. So what I'll, I'll keep a uh, power bank in there that will charge my uh, phone. It'll also charge the batteries to uh, my new camera. Um, so I'll carry some, like I can carry three different batteries and I won't have to worry about that. So having that in my electronics bag is good. There is a cordage that I use obviously to um, charge my stuff. And then I use, <laughs> so this is from a gimbal, a DJI gimbal that I have. And the reason I like this is because it has, oops, it has a light on it, you know, and you can change the light. So I can actually wrap this around my camera when it gets really dark outside and it works great. So I take this with me as well. I, I, obviously it's made for a phone. Um, I've used it for the phone, but I've also tried it on the camera. So we'll see how, uh, how well that'll work. But I keep that in my electronics bag. Uh, next is my tent, my big Agnes Tiger Wall. And you'll see I've got it in two different parts. So here's the actual tent. I don't use a, a stuff sack or anything in it. I just roll it up and put that into my pack. But I do have my Rainfly in a stuff sack. Um, and the reason I'm doing that is because Generally, the condensation builds up on your rain fly when it's a you know a two wall tent. So I figure if my rain fly gets wet, then I can put it into here and keep it away from all my other gear items, and so they don't get wet. Um, and I keep it in here until I have the chance to actually help it um, dry out during my hike sometime. So I am putting that in a separate um, stuff sack so to protect it from the other gear items that I'm carrying. Let's see. I'm also bringing my a sleep pad. So this is the uh, Thermarest uh, Neo Air Uber Light. It's a little over eight ounces on my scale. And it's not the most comfortable pad I have, but it's about 12 to 14 ounces lighter <laughs> with all the other extra gear that I'm taking and you know the tent is heavier um, than I would normally take I wanted to go a little lighter weight on my my pad next is my sleep bag so this is a Hilltops a waterproof bag um, it's not my normal sleep bag a clothes bag um, a smaller one but I'll carry you know a puffy so this is my ghost whisper mountain hardware puffy jacket that's awesome I'll carry just a little uh, beanie with me keep my head warm I got a pair of gloves I have a hoodie that I sleep in an extra pair of socks that I'll carry with me and an extra pair of shorts. I have the North Face uh, running shorts and these are great as well. So I keep that in, um, 
keep that in my clothes bag there. And then finally, my last piece of gear is my quilt. So here I have, I find the name, it's the Zen Bibby Sleep System. All right. So this is a 20 degree quilt and it's awesome. I love it. It is so comfortable. Um, this is the sleep system I like to use when I'm sleeping in a tent. The only thing different I'm doing for this trip is one, there's a cover sheet that goes on the actual pad, but it's made for like a 25 inch wide pad and the, the Thermarest uh, Uberlite is not that wide. So that's just extra weight. I don't think I need it. Um, so I will be attempting to just put this on top of my um, sleeping pad and just see how well uh, that works out and you know how secure that pad can be in here but love this uh, again this is a 20 degree uh, top quilt uh, more than I'm going to need for this again the lows will probably be in the low 40s but uh, I'm trying something out that I'm probably going to do on my John Muir Trail uh, trip and I just want to test out this top quilt with that uber light sleeping pad and just see how well uh, that's going to work um, so that is the top quilt that i am going to bring so that is all the gear that i'm going to be taking with me on my upcoming backpacking trip uh, there's some new gear items that i'm excited to uh, to test out and see how well they work and you know i haven't been backpacking since <laughs> september so I am eager to get out on the trail and just do some hiking and be out in the wilderness. Uh, Capitol Reef is a beautiful national park. I've been there um, once before with my son on another kind of car camping trip. So I'm really looking forward to that. Well, that's going to do it for this video. I've loaded all my gear back into my backpack and there's only one thing left to do. See how much this weighs. I have a little hand scale here. Looks like it's 14.1 pounds. That's not too bad. Uh, considering I'm carrying some additional gear that I normally wouldn't take with me, like the water shoes, the neoprene socks, and the umbrella. Uh, that's not too bad. I'll take that. So the next time you see me, I'll be on the trail. Thanks for watching.